gonna get this rope out of the inside of this jet ski that was sucked up uh, a couple weeks ago by the kids. This will be fun. One, two, three, four, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. So that's what we're dealing with. Got to get that rope cut out of there without dropping anything in the lake. So basically I'm going to tie this float here up to the dock and then I'm going to lay on that on my back and then try to get the parts out of the bottom of the jet ski. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these bolts there. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve total, it looks like. This Allen wrench. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, I dug at it for about two hours, cut out as much as I could. This is the last bit that's stuck at the base of the shaft. And it's cut around, but I, the stuff is just wedged in there. I can't get it out. So hoping that's enough that that dry shaft can turn and just blow that stuff out on its own. I've been cutting it and pulling it with pliers and no more of it wants to come out. All right, gonna fire this up and see if we can get it to turn. Well, that took about two and a half hours to get that piece of rope cut out of there, but um, we got it out and everything put back together. So, hey, I hope this video helped you figure out how to cut the rope out of your impeller if you suck one up with your jet ski. And if it did, please give the video a thumbs up and that'll help other people find it as well. And I hope you have a great day.